Hey guys, this is um, the first day of our new unit on percentages. We had a little mini lesson about cross-canceling the other day and that video is in the percentages playlist. So if you're struggling with cross-canceling at all, make sure you go back and review that. It, we're going to be using it like all the time from now on, uh, really until the rest of the, for the rest of the year. So percentages are a super important concept. We talk about them all the time in everyday life. It's really important that you have an understanding of, con just a conceptual understanding of what percentages are. For example, 25%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 75%, and so on. If your brother asks you if you want to share a pizza and he offers to give you 30%, you really need to know whether or not you're going to accept that deal. So percentages are important. Um, so what is a percent? Percent literally means per cent. Duh, right? I mean, that's the word. But if you'll remember, um, when I've talked about our fraction bar, I've talked about our fraction bar meaning per or out of or divided by. So per cent means per 100. You guys, I'm sure, remember from Latin that cent means 100. So if we were to say take the fraction 32 out of, ooh, look at that, out of wording right that right there, I know that that means a division bar. But 32 out of 100 can be written three different ways. We could write it as a fraction, like what you're seeing on your screen right now. We could write it as a decimal, 32 hundredths, or we could write it as a percentage, and that's what we're going to be practicing in this unit, 32%. Let's take a look at 5 out of 100. If we were to write 5 out of 100, we could write it as a fraction, or 5 over 100, as a decimal, 5 hundredths, or as a percentage, 5%. So when I'm looking at my fraction right here, I'm noticing that I have 5 per cent, right? Which is the same as 5% down here. So percentages are, percentages are just special fractions. Okay, let's try a couple problems. Let's look at our little table here. We have 240 boys, 360 girls, and we have 600 total kids. And we want to know what percentage of the total students are boys. Let's write our answer as a fraction first. Um, remember our little clue, is or are over of, from... Uh, our ratios unit, so we have of the total, right, so total is going to go on the bottom and our boys is going to go on the top, so we're going to write 240 over 600. Now we're going to um, convert it to a fraction in just a moment here. So how are we going to do this? We our, our percent needs to be a per 100. So that gives us a clue that our denominator is always going to be 100. In a percent. So we need to get this 240 over 600 or 240 out of 600 to a denominator of 100. We have two ways that we can do that. Method one is to change the fraction so that the denominator is equal to 100. We can do this by either multiplying or dividing both the numerator and the denominator. Um, and uh, method two is we can multiply, <laughs> not multiply, multiply the fraction by 100 over 1. So let's use method one in this particular problem to make the denominator equal to 100. So if we have 240 out of 600, let's divide the numerator and the denominator by 6, and we'll get 40 out of 100. Remember that when I'm dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same number, like 6 over 6, I'm really dividing or multiplying by 1, aren't I? Because that 6 over 6 equals 1. So my answer in this problem is 40 out of 100, which would equal 40%. Alright, now let's... Uh, try a problem using method 2, which is to multiply by 100, or 100 over 1. Okay, so let's take a look at this problem. So we have 240 out of 600, and we're going to convert that to a percent, so we multiply it by 100 over 1. And over here I have 240 over 6. Okay, how did I get there? Um, I had to have cross-canceled, so basically what I did was I divided um, this numerator by 100, 
and this denominator by 100. Remember that when I cross cancel, I have to pick a numerator and denominator to work with, and I can only pick one numerator and one denominator at a time. That's what I did here. So I got 240 out of um, 6, and if I simplify that, so 240 divided by 6, I'm, whoops, I'm going to get 40%. Okay, so let's just prove it here. 24 divided by 6 is 4. 4 times 6 is 24. I bring down my other 0. 6 goes into 0, 0 times, and there's where that 40 came from. Okay? Okay, and now let's just, we're going to just practice kind of taking a look at some different percents and seeing what they look like. Okay, so if I were to ask you to, to shade 13 boxes out of my 50 here, you would end up with something like this, and you should do this on your paper, okay? So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 boxes this way, and 5 boxes vertically, and that's 50, because 5 times 10 is 50. And I shaded 13 out of 50. Now I want to know, what percent is that? So we can, before we write any numbers, let's just look at that. Let's eyeball it and, and just kind of decide out of the whole about how much is 13. Um, you know, if I were to split this up into halves, halvesies here, here would be half of my 50 on this side, half over here. And it looks to me like that green portion is about half of a half. So pretty close to a quarter, right? It's a little bit more than half because you know, I've got two rows filled in and I've got three out of the third row with two empty. So just a little bit more than the half of a half. All right, so let's write this as a fraction. I have 13 um, out of, remember my fraction bar can be out of 50. Now let's convert this to a percentage and let's use method one to do that. So we want to multiply 13 out of 15. Our goal in method one is to get the denominator to 100. So we're going to multiply it by 2 over 2, which of course is the same as multiplying it by 1. And we're going to get 26 out of 100. And if we, um, we can just go ahead and write that as a percent, and it would be 26%. Okay, now let's use method two. So we write 13 out of 50 times 100 over 1 and we're going to cross cancel by dividing that numerator and denominator by 10 and we get 13 times 10 which is 130 5 times 1 which is 5 and if we simplify that and divide that out it would look like this and we would get 26 so that equals 26 percent all right, let's try this one, 120 out of 300. If we write that as a fraction, it looks like 120 out of 300, just like you have in front of you. And if we convert that to a percent using method one, we're gonna divide the numerator and the denominator by three, and we get 40 um, over 100, or 40 per cent. Looks like that. Now let's use method two. So now we have 120 um, over 300 times 100 over one. And I'm going to do a little cross canceling action. Um, and I'm going to divide that numerator and the de denominator both by 100. That's why I crossed off two zeros. So then I get um, 120 times one, which is 120. Three times one is three. And that's going to equal, let's just see over here, 120 divided by 3. 3 goes into 12 four times. 4 times 3 is, of course, 12. Bring down those zero, that 0, and we're going to get 40%. Okay? Okay, I want you to try these on your own, and then come back and check them. All right, so... This first one here, we have 6 over 100. That one's so easy, right? Because the denominator is already 100, so we already have 6%. So we're just going to write it. 6%. All right. Um, now we have 2 over 10. So let's go ahead and use method 1 to get that denominator to 100. Um, so if I multiply it by 10 over 10, I get 20 over 100, which equals... 
Okay, let's do this one. 3 over 50, let's do use the method 1 again. So we'll multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2 over 2 to get that denominator to 100. And I'm going to get 6 over 100, which is 6%. Ooh, we should be boxing these. I hope you're boxing yours. I'm getting lazy, aren't I? Okay, 4 over 25. We're going to use method 1 again. So we're going to get 16 over 100. And I multiplied 4 times 4 and 25 times 4. I got 16 over 100, so I got 16%. Okay, 18 over 200. Let's still use method 1. Um, and let's divide this time by 2 over 2. So now we are going to basically simplifying, aren't we? So we're going to end up with 9 over 100, which equals 9%. And 75 over 300, just for fun, let's use method 2 this time. So we're going to multiply by 100 over 1, and we'll do some cross-canceling action there. We'll divide both sides by, or we'll divide that numerator and the denominator by 100. So we get 75 divided by 3, and if we were to simplify that, we get 25 over 1, which would equal... 25%. Okay, express 3 fifths as a percentage and 1 eighth as a percentage. First of all, let's write that down. Okay, I'm going to suggest that you use method um, 2 on both of these. Okay, hopefully you've gone ahead and finished those off. So if we used about the 2, we can still cross-cancel here up on this top one, can't we? Um, let's divide this denominator and this numerator both by 5. So we get 1 down here, and we get 20 up here. 3 times 20 is 60 over 1, which equals 60%. And then over here, we could um, divide this denominator and this numerator by 4 and we would get 2 and we would get 25 up here so we'd get 25 over 2 which would equal 12.5 and that's what our percentage is okay uh, we have some more Toyos there. Go ahead and finish those off and then come back and check your work. Okay, this time I'm just going to write the answers and hopefully you and you have gotten the same thing. So one fourth written as a percentage is 25%. One fifth is going to be 20%. Three fourths is 75%. Four fifths is 80%. 3 eighths is, ooh, fancy one, 37.5% and, and 7 tenths is 70%. Okay, my friends, that is the end of this little introductory video. Um, if you were absent today, your homework for this evening is workbook exercise 15. Take care.